What's up, y'all? It's Fancy Molly. I'm here with Trashy. Let's talk some trash. Let's go. Um, have you ever stalked your crush online? For sure. I'm checking your brother page. I'm checking your uncle page. I'm checking your mama page, your mama boyfriend page, your cousin's little sister page. I don't know, maybe she's with you too. But I'm finna figure out where you are and who you with and what you're doing. What is something that kids do that you find annoying? Like, hmm, it's a few things. Like when you feed a baby, they just be doing all their like, like, I don't know how to explain it, but when you feed a baby, they be moaning and just moving and doing too much. Ooh, one of my biggest fears, I'm scared of cars. I haven't drove a car in seven years. I don't know, just like my anxiety be out my ass. One fuck up, me or you, like, you feel me? Like, I ain't finna put our lives at risk like that. Like, mm -mm. I've gone everywhere I need to be without driving. What's a small inconvenience that can run my whole day? You know, kind of when you already just agitated and in a hurry or something, like you walking out the bathroom and the door grab you. <laughs> Why the fuck did you just grab me? Like, I'm already mad. That'll just piss me off. I don't even want to go no more. Let's do this one. Come on, come Which place would I never eat at again and why? Um, I think Fogo de Chow just tastes like it's for, um, what is it? Um, cannibals. There's no flavor. It's just like, you know, I don't eat pork, so it just, I don't know, yeah. Anything that they had, they brought it to the table. When I tried it, I was just taking bites and I'm like, mm, nah. They even made my drink wrong at first. I had to get up and go to the bar and tell them how to, like tell the bartender how to do it. No. The pettiest reason I've had to cut somebody off. Not telling me happy birthday. If you're not coming hard for my birthday, get the fuck out of my life today. I'm so caring and I do shit for everybody. So it's like one day of the year, you can't fuck with me, fuck you. A social media ick. I hate when people record themselves crying. Maybe you could, you're at home and you're going through it and like you just want to talk to yourself like, okay, cool, you want to go back to this when you feel better, you want to look at yourself like, damn, like I was feeling this way, okay, maybe do that. But like going to social media, the internet, and like posting you crying and not like really getting help is an ick. What's my biggest turn off? I think a nigga that's just like, he don't know how to take no for an answer, he just, and then he don't have nothing to show. Like, why is he trying to fuck with me and you have nothing to offer? It just don't make sense. It don't add up. You have to benefit my lifestyle, benefit me, benefit anything I do. Like, any way you can help me, help me. Without me asking, because I don't like asking for nothing. I do it all on my own, so. If you're not just being a helping hand, yeah, no. Do you believe in soul ties? Yes, that's, yes. That's why I had to leave these fuck niggas alone. I'll be doing great. Next thing you know, a week later, I wake up angry. Why? I done fucked a fuck nigga. Like, don't do it. What would my porn star name be? Molly Water. I done thought about it. Now let me stop with it. <laughs> um, hmm. What's a red flag you'll ignore if the person looks good? All of them. <laughs> All of them on accident. No, but like, I don't do that no more. I'm really like cleansing my energy and I'm leaving the toxic shit alone. So it's just me. No more red flags. What's the most embarrassing thing your parents have done? When I was a kid, I used to be embarrassed when my dad picked me up in his work van. Are so they gonna think I'm getting in the car with a kidnapper? Like, do not come pick me up in the work van. Like, go pick your, I can wait. You can be like, go get your other car. Like, do not, don't come. But then now that I'm older, I'm like, you was just getting that money. You just going to get that money. You know, you was worried about me. You just going, you getting that money and coming back to get your child and drop your child off. You know what I'm saying? Damn, if I were on death row, what would my last meal be? Girl, I like everything. Some good lamb chops with some cream dipping sauce or like some cream sauce on top. Side of greens and macaroni. Some great cornbread. Like just a whole, I, don't, I need everything sold with some banana pudding to top it off. No bananas though, or light bananas. <laughs> What's up y'all, it's Cincy Molly. I just wrapped it up with Trash Talk. If it ain't trash, then it's trash.